What's up everybody, welcome back to another Identity 5 video. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing a rank match gameplay with Wildling actually. And this is after nerf, so from here we are going against a Ripper bringing Peepers. And so straight off the bat he's going to front gate and I'm right here decoding, chilling with my boar. So over here, the Ripper does get Tinnitus, immediately spots the Perfumer, instant perfumes and really amazing job by the Perfumer. So from here we're gonna see an amazing kite from the Perfumer, using these pallets to her max, forcing the Hunter to break them, and immediately rotating to another kiting area. And from here, Perfumer is just kiting. Ripper trying to mind game. Perfumer does perfume. Does decide to take the perfume back. Dodges the foggy blade over here. And from here, Ripper is just having a hard time chasing the perfumer. And from here, he does spot the seer but decides not to chase the seer continues on with the perfumer over here perfumer is just doing a really good job at kiting wildling cypher is about 70% almost close to popping Here decide to use her last perfume, forces the hunter to wait at the area and buys a lot more time and gives a lot more distance. From here jukes the foggy blade like a pro, unfortunately takes a hit here but it was a very good hit because she was able to transition all the way into factory, uses the window gets the speed boost, forcing the hunter to vault, giving more distance. So from here, Wildling did get on the boar, and pushes the hunter for more distance. So over here, Wildling did play a very strong part as a supporter, and right now, the fact that he is harassing without even like stunning the hunter or pushing the hunter like just being in the area is just annoying to the hunter already so right now hunter did change to seer misses the foggy blade very nice jukes by the seer so now acknowledging that there is no foggy blade, able to throw down the par pallet safely. And from here, two ciphers remaining, and nobody has been on chair before. Unable to find any survivor. And now one cipher is left. So, Perfumer did a really nice kite, and from here, Two survivors have been spotted. Wildling eats the foggy blade. Gets gets a really close vault over here. Decides to get on the boar. Seer with the pallet stun, but unfortunately eating the hit. From here, Wildling pushes the hunter to give the seer more distance. So over here, the mindset of the Wildling is that he shouldn't be harassing like forward with his boar. Because after his nerf, every time you get on the boar, your riding time will just decrease more and more. So from here, what you really want to do is to try to conserve your boar as much as possible. Seer does an amazing owl over here. So, like I was saying, what you want to do is conserve your boar as much as possible and use it only when necessary. 
like in the situations just now, it was really necessary to push for giving the perfumer distance. It was necessary to push for giving the seer more distance. And it was definitely also necessary just to avoid eating hits from the hunter. And from here, Perfumer Cypher is about 89%, waddling with another push. And from here, the Cypher Machine is primed. Now, Watling is just going into wait at the gate. Ripper misses a Foggy Blade. Forced to vault the window. And then here, Seer does an amazing pallet stun, pings focus on decoding, and the Cypher Machine is popped. And from here, it is looking like a three-man situation. As long as Seer can kite until the gates are open. Ripper does decide to change targets to the Wildling who is working on this gate. So from here, Wildling does take a hit from the Foggy Blade. Gets on his boar, juking the hit. And from here, Wildling on the boar is really not a target to chase right now. Three people have, ex have escaped and Wildling right now. Is just looking for dungeon and dungeon is not here so Watling is just gonna make it to the exit gate if he could so yeah like I said Watling all you have to do is conserve his boar and use it only when necessary so that you still have more time on the boar so that is it for the video thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time